At the National Arboretum, children from Great Worley High School came face to face with the horrors of war and were given the opportunity to pay their respects to the fallen. On the day, representatives of the Holocaust Educational Trust, the Association of Jewish Ex-Service Men and Women, and the Jewish Military Museum worked closely together to teach pupils about the role of the British Armed Forces during the First and Second World Wars. We've worked with the Association of Jewish Ex-Service Men and Women now for seven years, um, worked together to mark Armed Forces Day. So the day started essentially with us working with the students and teachers. We looked at the Holocaust and the role played by um, armed personnel during the Holocaust itself. So the students this morning learnt about one particular survivor called Martin Aaron and he spoke very powerfully about the just the impact that liberation had on him and this great sense of hope. We watched a video of a survivor and a liberator and um, the survivor um, he was talking about the fact that when he was liberated, when he was told about the British soldiers, he actually felt human for the first time in years. And that's quite... Uh, it's upsetting to feel that someone could have their identity stripped and not feel human. I've learnt about, in more depth about the Holocaust and what the Nazis did just because of what they believed. And it's not very nice on why they did this stuff. The students also visited the shot at Door Memorial, which commemorates the 306 British and Commonwealth soldiers who were shot for desertion or cowardice during World War I. First point at dawn that the sun hits the Arboretum, which is poignant to that's when these men were shot. Read the ages of these young men who were shot as deserters. It was... Um, Pretty shocking um, because of how scared you could see and how it was based on a real um, person. It was scary on how you could just see the fear in his face. He had his blindfold on and you could just sense that he was prepared and really scared. The trip also included a visit to the Armed Forces Memorial, which commemorates military personnel who have lost their lives in conflict as a result of terrorist action or on training exercises since the end of World War II. On the walls opposite you, you will see in year order the names of men and there may be one or two women who've died in action. It's weird to think that like, if we came next year, there'd be more names. And it's also just a huge thing, you know, just to, to see it all. Today it just really does highlight the importance of remembering and, and res paying respect to, to members of our armed forces. Um, we have liberators still with us today, we have members of our armed forces with us, but also still very much in, in active service. And it kind of brings together the Holocaust um, and also, you know, armed personnel. They kind of come together and it's day sort of remembering both, really. One major point that has stuck with the students is that World War II was a turning point in British history. The peaceful Europe they now live in is thanks to the sacrifice of thousands of servicemen and women. And so as Armed Forces Week continues, many take comfort that younger generations have the opportunity to learn lessons from the past. This is Celestina Ololode for JM1 in Staffordshire.